Yeah, Beth, I don't know, you don't think this thing's kind of stupid? You just don't understand. I'm sitting outside my boss's office the other day, right? And he tells this guy, I make all my money in CDs. This is clearly how we get rich. Hey, but people don't even listen to any of this stuff anymore. It's like I wouldn't pay a dime for any of this. Would you just stop complaining about me? Stop what you're doing. That is not what a CD is. I mean, well, yes, you're holding a compact disc, but in the financial sense, CD stands for Certificate of Deposit, and it's a great way to invest your money. A certificate of deposit is basically a time capsule you buy from a bank. You start with a set amount of money, ranging from $1,000 to $100,000, and promise to keep that money in the bank for a predetermined amount of time. During that time, the bank promises that your money will collect interest, so that when the CD finally matures, you receive more money than you paid up front. You can buy CDs with expiration time frames as short as one month, or as long as five years, but longer term CDs are given more lucrative interest rates. The best part is CDs are insured by the FDIC up to $250,000, so the returns are virtually risk-free. Now at this point, a CD is probably sounding a lot like a savings account, but there are two key differences. First, unlike a savings account, you can't withdraw your money whenever you want. It's locked in until maturation. Second, CDs offer better interest rates than savings accounts, making them more powerful investment vehicles. CDs aren't perfect, however. Their interest rates are often below the rate of inflation, meaning a matured CD may not be worth as much in the future. It also won't be able to help you if aliens invade and the predominant currency becomes water or gasoline. You see, a growing body of research points to the idea that, huh? No, not now? Okay, fine. So, no, it's not a great idea to put your money into an outmoded form of music. But a certificate of deposit is a smart way to invest your money without risk. You're still here. Well, if you're looking for more, just subscribe to Mashable's YouTube channel. Then you won't have to miss any of my awesome and handsome explanations. One click.